Are you ready for your computer to be stolen? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom. I've been answering tech questions and spouting tech opinions here at askleo.com since 2003. I frequently talk about preparing for failure, uh, hard disk crashes, hardware failures, lost or hacked accounts, that kind of thing. And hopefully you're well prepared for all this. What I wanna talk about today though is something different and something that I think people sometimes underestimate. And that is, what happens if your computer disappears? Now, before you jump to it, it's about more than just travel. Certainly, traveling is the big one. It's the one we think about. We keep hearing about the number of laptops and portable devices that are left at airport security, which, which just weirds me out because I know that I would never leave a device and a device as important as my laptop on a conveyor belt and walk away without it. Bottom line, though, is that computers can disappear for any number of different reasons. You can, of course, leave your portable computer somewhere, be it at the coffee shop, be it at the airport or be it somewhere else. However, the other scenario is just as important, at least, to consider, and that is theft. What happens if your house or your apartment gets broken into and the computer suddenly disappears? The first thing we worry about is data loss. Now, I have to say that the word disappear can actually mean a couple of different things. It can mean, of course, that your computer literally disappears. A burglar steals it or, like I said, you leave it somewhere. But when you think about it, a catastrophic hardware failure that can't be fixed is essentially your computer disappearing. Your computer doesn't work anymore and there's no hope of salvage. It might as well be gone. In a case like that, we rely on what I've been preaching for years, and that is backups. Basically, you replace your hardware, the easiest part of this entire equation, and then restore your data. Get on with your life. The second part, though, that we don't think about very much is data theft. In other words, yes, they may steal your machine, your hardware, but whoever has that machine now has all of your data in their hands. Anything that was on that machine is now something that, depending on the steps you've taken, is something that they could be poking around at, looking at, and so forth. The traditional solution is encryption and in fact, whole disk encryption. Specifically, when it comes to machines that are, I don't want to say likely to be lost, but we'll say most likely to be lost, laptops, machines that you take with you on a regular basis. Encrypting the entire hard disk ensures that as long as the machine isn't logged in when it's stolen, that the whoever gets that machine in their hands, be it a burglar or a good Samaritan, they won't be able to access the data on that hard disk. I just had this happen to me where somebody gave me a secondhand machine. I was trying to recover data for them, but the machine had been encrypted with BitLocker and they didn't have the key. There was no way. The only thing we could do was reformat that hard disk and start over. That's the kind of protection you really want if your machine is ever in a situation where it is, quote unquote, more likely to be stolen or lost. The next thing to think about is account theft. Depending on how you use your machine and how things are set up, stealing your machine could potentially be a way for individuals to gain access to the accounts you have on that machine or the accounts you use that machine to log into. For example, especially if your machine happened to be in standby while it was stolen, then they could potentially open the machine be you and just have access to any of the accounts that you happen to be logged into at the time. It's not that uncommon, but it's also not that difficult to at least take a few basic steps to prevent this from being a disaster. Obviously, things like password protected screensavers or an automatic timeout that forces your master password to be re-entered. But even then, there are still scenarios where you want to be careful and you want to make sure you want to take that extra step to further secure your accounts from this kind of accidental malicious access. The solution there typically 
two-factor authentication. Even if someone manages to hack your password because they have access to your machine, they won't have access to your second factor. And that's important. That's what would prevent them from being able to log into your account from anywhere else. In recent years, mobile devices have become not only very popular, but also very commonly lost. And this is a case where things get a little bit more complicated. Certainly both Android and Apple devices have full disk encryption where you can actually encrypt or have the operating system encrypt the entire contents of what you store on the device. That stuff is not accessible if you have a pin or a password on the device. And we've heard stories of the FBI trying to coerce Apple into breaking into a suspect's iPhone. They can't do it, but that's only part of the problem. So certainly you want all the information that's on that phone that you care about backed up. Services like Dropbox or OneDrive can do that for you automatically, as well as many of the mobile providers. The other thing you want to make sure is enabled and working is the Find My Phone type of application that will allow you to determine where the phone is at any point in time and make sure that that functionality includes remote wipe. In other words, if you discover that your phone is missing and you locate it as being somewhere that you know you would never go to, or you can't locate it at all, this gives you the option to remotely wipe the phone as soon as it connects up to the internet once again. I suspect that's a very critical feature that I'm hoping most of you have enabled. The risks of losing a computer or a laptop are really easy to overlook. Fortunately, it's also easy to prepare if you think about it beforehand. Make sure you consider whole disk encryption for that machine that is perhaps more likely to be lost. Make sure that your mobile device has a pin and make sure you have Find My Phone or its equivalent enabled along with Remote Wipe. As I said, it's a little bit of effort, but it's well worth it should you ever lose your device. Hopefully you found this helpful. Hit that thumbs up or that subscribe over on YouTube. If you're interested in leaving a comment or reading the article on which this video is based, visit askleo.com slash 12635. You'll find related links out there as well and any updates. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.